Do you see it? The technician asked as I sat with my wife at the ultrasound. We'd been convinced our first child was a boy, how she was carrying the baby, wives' tales, what have you. So when I hear, do you see it? Well, I'm, I'm looking for it, right? But all I see is a blob, and she says, it's a girl. I was like, it's a what? A girl, huh? I dropped my wife back at school where she was teaching at the time, went right to my office at home and Googled how to raise a girl. I suppose I had convinced myself had it been a boy, I just would have taught him how to throw a four-seam fastball, handed him a beer, and said, that's about it, son, you'll figure out the rest. My brother-in-law had a great line when I told him about the Google search. Scotty, he said, you wouldn't have any idea how to raise a boy either. It's not in a book. He's right. That little girl turned six today. She's smart and kind and beautiful. I watched her at the playground at school earlier this week when I picked her up, hair blowing in the wind on a perfect day, laughing and running, just playing with her friends. And I had a stupid smile glued on my face, the joy of watching a happy little girl in a moment that she forgot the moment she sat down on the car seat. It's all going too fast, I thought. You want to dig in your heels and fight that clock on the wall and make the moments last, but they don't. That's okay, though, because I'm filing moments away like the other day for later. And there's a real fear you have when you have children so late about the things you might miss. So maybe I'm more in tune with enjoying the time I have right now. I am greedy about making them all count. And I would just say this to any man out there who's about to become a dad for the first time. Maybe you grew up in sports like me. Maybe you're thinking you want a boy. And I get it. I do. That was me. And my sons are a joy to me. But let me tell you a secret, fellas. Root for them to tell you it's a girl. There's no greater love you'll ever know, and nothing that will change your worldview more than holding a little girl and imagining the world through her eyes, wanting to be for her the very best version of yourself and the hopes that you might be worthy of the way she looks at you, being worth being adored by her. I ask her 10 times a day, what do you know? Daddy loves Lila, she says, more than you'll ever know, little girl. It's her birthday today. I got the gift, May 9th. 2013.